as we're taking a look at our process here at Lions Wealth, we really start with all the different aspects of what we call the lead index. That's the Lions Wealth Economic Activity and Development Stages. And we have one through four. Now one is where we're really having a lot of growth in our economy, but not a lot of inflation. And that is a great place to be. Now, as we progress and get to say lead three, that's much more of a stagflationary environment. And then when we get to lead four, which is where we are at in this current month, we can start to project the fact that we have a slowing of growth of our economy as well as slowing inflation. And that is really indicative of a economy and the stock market that's getting tired. And so when we take a look at that, and we take a look at what's happened over the last week where we've had a few stocks that have been driving the stock market either up or down, now you can start to see that the concentration risk coupled with the fact that we are in this environment for the economy that is a soft spot, well, now we can really start to see how these moves can happen quickly. So how do we work here at Lions Wealth that's actually going to take a look at where we have been and predict a little bit more about where we're going. We'll take a look at this chart here. This is the stock market over the last couple days and you can see that we have the ups and downs in the markets. And this is a nice little gr graph that's been around in this way for over 100 years. But what we have done recently over the course of the last, say, 20 to 30 years, is started to add more information to it. So now you can actually start to see that there are ways that we can tell if it was going up or down, what you call intraday. Then we can add some volume to it and you can start to see a little bit better picture. But what if we actually start filling out gaps more and saying, well, we can take a look at if we're going up or down by moving averages, where we're at on Fibonacci levels, all these different aspects that have come out for trading. Well, that's just a nice piece. But then what we have been doing here at Lions Wealth is really starting to broaden it out. And now we can actually have those different elements of saying, are we going up or down in price points? Do we have price volume and volatility all being working together to broaden out and work on the investments, all the things that we are really looking for to make sure that we're taken care of with the portfolio. But here's the thing, that is really not that actionable. It's nice to see that a market is going up, but how does that translate into your portfolio and how does that translate into how much we need to be invested into that? So that's where we've really been taking some massive strides over the five years here at Lions Wealth. And even more recently, over the last couple of weeks, with all the volatility, we've made some tweaks. So now we can actually take a look at where we're at here and we can add in something else. We can take a look at that and then start to add in all the data. So once we take a look at that, we can download all of the data that comes with just what we were looking at there. And that is now something that we can take this data and turn it into something that is actionable. So now we can take a look at each individual stock itself and you can start to see that there are ways we can take a look at the stock or the ETF and you can actually start to really figure out on a price volume volatility level where we're going. So that's good. That helps because now we can start to take a look at saying, we've turned a graph into data. And once we turn that into data, then we can actually start to incorporate and start pl placing really some numbers behind that and saying, because of this data and this information in this way, we can actually fill out and have certain weightings to each investment. Or conversely, we can be actually cutting the investments so that we don't have a loss unnecessarily. So this is not really market timing, more so than what it is in saying that we are looking at the data and actually just really taking a look at where we have been to predict where the future will go. But that's what we call the signal. 
And that's in light of where we're at with the leads and all the different ways that we are working with the economy. So we have the economy, we have the signal. Now we can take all of that data and we can really be working on how that relates to down to the percent of all the different investments that can go into your portfolio. So whether we are increasing or decreasing the portfolio by a percent or even eliminating investments, that's how we know that no matter if we are in an environment that is going to be growth oriented, if you want to be conservative or somewhere in between, we have the correct investments and the correct portfolios to match the risk, the objectives, and where we're at in the economic landscape to match your objectives and what you need. And that is how we work here at Lions Wealth. As you would like to know more about what we've been talking about with respect to portfolios here and to have a second opinion on your overall wealth plan, and portfolios, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to talk. Take care.